As Gold Rush Season 14 hurdles towards its climactic finale, the gold mining teams are digging deeper, racing against time to extract as much gold as possible before the unforgiving winter descends upon them. In the midst of this high-stakes rush for gold, one season miner is making bold moves to salvage his season, none other than the legendary Tony Beats. In a season marked by challenges and setbacks, Tony Beats has unveiled his master plan to turn the tides in his favor. Not content with just purchasing a new wash plant, Beats has set his sights on reviving Dredge, determined to breathe new life into his mining operation. This audacious move comes as a beacon of hope for Tony Beats, who has faced his fair share of ups and downs in the quest for the elusive gold. The announcement of a fresh team to spearhead the dredging efforts adds an air of anticipation to the unfolding drama. Tony Beats, recognizing the gravity of the situation, has enlisted the services of Greg Mason, renowned as one of the best dredging masters in North America. The hope is palpable among Gold Rush fans, eager to witness the resurrection of dredge under the guidance of this expert team. Tony Beats, a seasoned gold miner featured prominently in Gold Rush, is no stranger to taking risks in the pursuit of gold. In 2014, he invested a whopping $1 million in a 75-year-old bucket line gold dredge, envisioning it as a game-changer for his mining venture. Despite the challenges, including the dredge sinking underwater on multiple occasions, Beats and his team showcased their resilience by relocating and reconstructing the colossal machine. The dredge's ability to process an impressive 2,000 gallons of water per minute and deliver a 60% profit by 2016 underscored Tony's knack for innovation. However, the journey was not without its tribulations, with the dredge encountering mishaps that tested the metal of Beats' experienced crew. Sinking twice within six weeks and battling issues like fine sand clogging sluices, the dredge's path was fraught with challenges. The recent decision by Tony Beats to recommission Dredge comes with both excitement and caution. Earning 22.56 ounces immediately after its resurrection serves as a promising sign for the seasoned miner. Yet, it also serves as a reminder of the need for utmost care, as the Dredge proved to be a double-edged sword in the past. Now, as winter looms large, time becomes Tony's greatest adversary. With a less-than-ideal start to Season 14, the pressure intensifies on Beats to maximize mining operations in the final stretch. Fortunately, his recent endeavors seem to be yielding positive results, hinting at a potential turnaround. In a move reminiscent of Parker Schnabel's strategic approach, Tony Beats is doubling down on operations. With two endeavors in full swing, including the reactivation of Dredge No. 1, Tony is signaling his determination to emerge victorious in the race against time and nature. As the gold rush drama unfolds, viewers can't help but cheer for Tony Beats and his team, hoping that this latest gamble will pay off and bring a glittering end to a challenging season. Tony Beats' decision to revive Dredge is not just a bold move, it's a calculated risk that showcases his unwavering determination and strategic mindset. In the high-stakes world of gold mining, where every decision can make or break a season, Tony's willingness to resurrect a dredge with a history of challenges speaks volumes about his confidence and belief in its potential. The choice of Greg Mason, renowned as one of the best dredging masters in North America, to lead the new team is a strategic move. It shows that Tony understands the importance of having experienced hands at the helm, especially when dealing with complex machinery like dredge. The announcement of a seasoned team, including Tony's trusted employee and friend Len, underscores his commitment to assembling a skilled crew capable of overcoming challenges. The fact that Tony earned 22.56 ounces immediately after putting the dredge back into operation is an encouraging sign. It suggests that the calculated risk may be paying off, at least in the short term. However, as the season progresses and winter approaches, the pressure on Tony to deliver results will only intensify.